I'm Skylar Woodward, and I'm 2018 Moscone Cup MVP, and you're watching Railbirds TV. Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we have for you guys the last match that we have from the 2019 Derby City Classic. We have Charlie Bryant versus Shane Van Boning. Charlie Bryant, he goes by the name of by the nickname of Hillbilly, but I'm I'm going to call him Charlie. Charlie is Owner of Brutal Game Gear, Bryant Billiards. All right, this match brought to you by Diamond Billiard Products, BilliardShoppingNetwork.com, and us, Railbirds Productions. Be sure to follow us on Facebook as well so you know what, what we got going on. We are Railbirds Productions on Facebook. I'm your host, Kevin Ross, the said Railbird. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that thumbs up, be sure to subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notified when we go live or when we put up uh, new videos. And be sure to share. Sharing is caring. All right, Charlie with the break. Going for the cut break. Trying to make that one in the side has failed to make the one. Bring Shane to the table. Lining up this 1-3 combination to start with. Handles it nicely. come up a little bit short in the position. By that I mean the, he's got a little bit the wrong angle, but he's able to hold up his cue ball just fine for this five. And then from here, as long as he gets on the six, and I see no reason why he wouldn't, he shouldn't have any problems with the rest of this rack. And he's got a little straight on this six. He may have to just roll forward for short side on the seven. Interesting choice. Heck, I'd rather be shooting the seven up table than, than shooting at this, but then again, I'm not Shane. Ooh, that ball wiped its feet a little on the way in. First game to Shane, one to nothing in this race to nine. All right, while Shane racks, let's uh, go over the rules real quick here. We are playing Derby City rules, nine ball. The break is the winner's option. It is rack your own. The AccuRack is mandatory. The nine ball must be racked on the spot. We are breaking from the break box. Jump cues not allowed. You can jump the ball, but you have to use your full playing cue. Can't even, can't even use your break cue. One more rule. 
not on that graphic. This will be the last time I have to explain this because <laughs> it's our last match. We are playing with the three-point break rule. What that means is on the break, you must drive at least three object balls either into the pockets or past the head string. Failure to do so is an illegal break. You lose your turn at the table. Incoming player will have the option to accept the table as is or pass it back. And if they pass it back, you will not have the option to push out. Also, if you make the nine on the break and you fail to meet the requirements of the three-point break rule, the nine on the break will not count as a win. The nine will spot. You lose your turn at the table. And the other guy has the option accept it or pass it back. That's an unfortunate miss. Because he's left this pretty nice for Shane. As long as he can get as long as he can get on the two, he's gonna be off to the races. Yeah. Bottom right, two rails around, right at the three. Right between that nine five, perfect. The next challenge here is going to be getting uh, from that six to the seven. That's going to be the main challenge here. Four to the five, no problem. Five to the six, no problem. Six to the seven. That's where it could get a little interesting. Depends all depends how you get on this six. Perfectly straight on this, he can just draw straight back. All right. Making sure he's leaving himself plenty of angle on this eight to get to the nine. Shane Van Boning, two to nothing. This race to nine. Hey, Chef is here. Hey, you're just in time to catch the end of this. Cut break, makes the one straight in the side. Cue ball, where are you going? Oh man, that's a, <laughs> that's a nice break. He's made two balls, he's got, he's got a shot on the three. It's not the easiest of shots to start with. But the good news is, um, position on the four should be pretty easy from here, as long as he makes this three. See no reason why he wouldn't make the three. And yeah, he's got straight in on the four, so he's going to be forced to just draw straight back. Nice smooth stroke. Looks like Shane's. Uh, looks like Shane's found his groove. He's moving around the table a little bit quicker now than he was uh, two games ago. All 
All right, break and run by Shane, three to nothing. Let's see if he can keep this run going. And that was his first break and run. Not of his life, just of this match. Shane with the break. All right, he's made is that two balls again. He's made two balls. Unfortunately, <laughs> this one ball not being cooperative. Oh, he wants to keep running, though. He doesn't want to play safe. Yeah, he's very seriously considering this. He's more than considering it. He's shooting it. Oh, what a shot. Where's that one going? Is he going to get a shot? All right. Is he going to have to shoot another combination? Or does that ball... There's it go. And I can't tell if it passes or not. Looks like uh looks like he's shooting the one past the six, so all right. Nope, that's not going. Can't cheat the pocket that much. All right, brings Charlie Bryant to the table. Shot right back out to the middle of the table. Perfect. Here, like every shot from here on out to middle of the table position is perfectly fine. All right, just don't hit that nine ball on the way through there. Just don't hit the nine, should be fine. All right, avoided the nine, perfect. Oh no, that eight's still there. Shane practically pushing Charlie out of the way. <laughs> All right. Shane says, thank you very much. Keep them coming. Four nothing in this race to nine. Shane with a break. Oh, 
little Kojak in the subway. All right, ball in hand for Charlie. And these are sitting pretty good. And, you know, two ball, two to the three. Those are a little tricky. And that seven, I don't think the seven passes the eight. So once you get to there, you got some, uh, you probably have to play a combination unless you can get position to the other corner. So got a little bit of work to do. Unless he wants to bump to seven right here. Bump to seven, play position for the three up table. That could work. Or three in the side, either one. Or at least now we won't have to play a combination on the seven eight. Although position from the six to the seven could be a little bit a uh, little bit more challenging now. All right, he's hit that gap perfectly. There's one rail out, back to the middle of the table. Or not. All right, good shot. How's the speed? Pretty good. This, yeah, this I think you just want to come one rail straight down. Bottom, if you go bottom left two rails, that eight ball is huge to get right in your path. So I'd rather just go one rail straight down. Charlie agrees. Hey, Tracy, thanks for the kind words and thanks for watching. Nine ball lending a helping hand, slowing that cue ball down a little. That's perfect position on the nine. All right, Charlie Bryant on the scoreboard. Four to one, and it's a race to nine. So, hey, remember to uh, go follow us on Facebook, Railbirds Productions at Facebook. That way you can see our uh, upcoming schedule so you'll know when we go live next. So you can see what our upcoming tournaments are. All right, Charlie with the break. One ball straight in the side and give him a shot on this too. Give him a shot, don't scratch. Oh man. All right, main challenge is gonna be getting from the two to the three, but starting with ball in hand makes this a lot easier. You just come zigzag across with a three in that bottom right corner.
And even if you don't get straight in, even if you leave yourself angle, you can still come around that 8-4, two rails around. And that's exactly what he's going to have to do. No, John, it wasn't cruel. It was brutal. Charlie Bryant, owner of Brutal Game Gear. I think that's the first time I've seen Shane shoot behind the back. I didn't think he even knew that shot. It was, it was pretty good speed, but uh, until it rolled up right up on the rail there. Handled it nicely. Five to one, race to nine. Shane watched the Bustamani video right before the match. <laughs> All right, cut break, one ball straight in the side, the cue ball straight in the corner. All right, ball in hand for Charlie, just what the doctor ordered. Two, four, five, all right there. All right, these are sitting. These are sitting pretty good. Little nice little confidence booster. Got a few easy shots to start with. I'm uh, not sure I like that angle. He's left himself on the four there. It's going to be, yeah, he really wanted to be a lot straighter on the four than this. This is, this is all of a sudden got a little tricky. Probably going to have to run into the seven probably. Yeah, he brushed the seven. Man, he, it's making this a bit harder than it needed to be. Slow down, cue ball, slow down. Yikes. Unfortunately, that eight's blocking the side. All right, uh, cue ball up to the end rail. Let the cue ball go forward in behind the eight. And by end rail, I mean side rail, end rail, you know, like banking the six to the end. Or is he shooting at this? Is he shooting the six to the corner? Is he going for this? He's going for it. Oh, nice shot, Charlie. Nice, good recovery.
Yeah, that corner pocket, obviously defective. Charlie's showing some frustration there. Understandably so. Ooh, that's a that's a thin cut. Back cutting this to the side. Yikes. Oh, nice bank. Wow. All right. Shane saying thank you very much. with the break. Yeah, good thing it was the Accurac you threw on the table and not like a wooden rack. <laughs> All right, nice break. And he's got a perfect shot at the two. The three ball's right there. Three to the four could be tricky. Depends how he gets on this three. Only because that seven ball's right there. The, that was the main problem this rack, and he's past that. So this rack is pretty well solved. From here, just middle of the table position on basically every shot. Just middle of the table, middle of the table, middle of the table, every shot, except for the nine. Uh, he's gone a little far. Probably have to play the eight in the side. Oh, see, I reading the angles wrong again. It looked like he had more angle in that. All right, seven one, race to nine. Both these players have one loss, so this is an elimination match. having pretty good luck uh, making that one in the side, but unfortunately he's been having kind of bad luck uh, keeping that cue ball out of the drink. All right, that's a nice break. He's got a good look at this two. Come a couple rails around for the three. Just get back to the, back to the middle of the table here. Well, that's one way to get to the middle of the table, right off the nine. Stroke. Man, that's like 50 yard line position. It's like he was going like straight at the five. Like he couldn't decide if he wanted to play for the five to the corner or the five nine combo. So he just sent the cue ball straight at the five. 
and let the let the let the table the table roll off. Let it uh, let it decide which way you go. Shot just trickling that five in. All right, this is going to be. Two in a row, two breaking runs in a row. Puts Shane on the hill, eight to one in this race to nine. with what is almost certainly going to be his last break this set. Should Charlie actually win a game, he could opt to uh, let uh, Shane break, but highly unlikely. All right, one ball straight in the side. And he's perfect on this two, three balls right there by the side pocket. Four ball, five balls hanging. Oh man, this does not look good for Charlie. Charlie needs to hope Shane like drops his uh, drops his cue on the cue ball or drops a piece of chalk on it or something. That's about the only thing that's gonna stop Shane from running these out, I think. Three breaking runs in a row. Shane Van Boning defeating and eliminating Charlie Bryant, nine to one. I wanna thank you guys for watching. I wanna give a shout out to our patrons at patreon.com. Connor Gibson, Larry Cox, Russ Zorn, Sean Stewart, Wambra. Thank you guys and that does conclude our coverage of the 2019 Derby City Classic. Thank you guys for watching over this last uh, couple months. It's been a lot of fun and hope to see you guys again next time. So until then, Kevin Ross, Railbirds Productions, that's a wrap.